English broken businesses. We are all about black excellence, bringing local entrepreneurs together to inspire and motivate you through business. So it's simple, what you can do is to listen to this story and be inspired and show to you guys, nothing is impossible. If they can do it, so sit down and chill and listen to this wonderful story. Follow your dreams. English Broken Business, we are here in Trafaka Place, one of the most indigenous places in Cape Town that sell flowers. It has been declared a heritage place. Kutala Ilapa has been here 140 years and it has been passed to generation to generation. Come with me and follow how does this woman make their living. Let's go. We are here with the lady. She has been selling flowers for more than 10 years. I know her and she does not know me, but it's okay. Mama, can you tell me what's your name? My name is Alison Snyders. Alison Snyders, tell me, how did you become a seller here in this wonderful place in Trafaga? I used to come with my granny when I was 10 years old. Okay. And flowers was one red a bunch at the time. So yes. that is the time when I started selling flowers. Okay. Tell me, um, from selling flowers, ne, what do you see, How? what kind of challenges have you been through? Oh, we've been through so much, so much challenges. Um, now that the shops is selling flowers, it's a yes. big, it, it, it's a big, because you know, people can go buy on the credit card yeah. or they can go buy till the end of the month. Yes. And then the farmers that we used to, the, the, the old farmers, they didn't go on with the, I mean, the legacy didn't go on with the children. Yeah. Now there's less farmers, yes. but they supply the shops now. Yeah. So the shops can pay direct get their flowers direct from the farmers yeah. so they can actually charge cheaper than what we do. Okay. So that is a big, big challenge for Tell us. me, what are the changes have you done to your family since you've been selling flowers? Changes? Yes. In, in, in what way? In, um, in I know you have children. Of course. And I my know children you, actually yes. did um, go to school. They did matriculate it. My daughter is staying in Johannesburg. Yes. And there's my son. He's yes. also in the flower of business course. now. Because yes. it's generation to generation yes. flowers. Yes, Family definitely. business flowers. Yes. Yes. So what do you want to say to those people who undermine flowers business here in Cape Town? I don't think there's a lot of people that really undermine yes. flower businesses. But um, yeah, we, we love, I love doing flowers. Yeah. Because you know, you please so much people. They love the people love to come here to come buy flowers for these spouses. Well, of course. I mean, weddings, there's, there's so much romance, yes. Valentine, Mother's Day. It's <laughs> always flowers, flowers, flowers. Okay. So it, I don't think flowers will even die out because there's always funerals, there's always weddings, there's always a birthday. And there's always and love. And there's always love, most and, important. Yes. yes. And what do you want to say to our young mayor? To our young mayor? Yes. Um, Come and upgrade Cape Town. Come okay. in and upgrade our flower market. Come to us. Come and have a look what's happening here by us as well. And come and help us. Mayor, I can't Please. expect you to be here. Yes. I'm expecting you to be here, Mayor. Yes. And this is for you. Come and upgrade this place. Ne? Yes, please, man. And our parking is terrible. We got no parking. We're struggling for years to get parking. For our customers, we're losing our customers because of parking. So please come and have a look at the flower market and how you can contribute yes. to upgrade this market. And I know he's a good person, he's gonna do it, he's young, he has a new blood, and he's gonna be here, promise. Obviously. Okay, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much again. Hustling, hustling, hustling. Anything that you can see, you can make a business, let's go and do it. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> I'm here with Mrs. Dixie, one of the self flowers. She's been here for quite a long time. So I want her to tell her story. And how did it become here? Well, I met a friend. Okay. And I used to do dressmaking before. And then um, I met a friend. And then the friend introduced me to a cousin. And I came to sit with her. And after that, I started selling flowers. Yes, and then you become a businesswoman. And a businesswoman, and we went quite a long while with this friend of mine. Okay, I just want you to tell me, ma'am, um, selling flowers, what kind of changes have you seen in your life? Oh, 
every day you see yes. change, changes. Every day you meet different types of people, yes. which is very exciting. Yes. That makes the flower selling so much enjoyable. Yes. So I know this is a heritage thingy, yeah. this place, and it has been declared heritage. How does it feel for you to be in this wonderful, rich place? And what do you want the mayor of Cape Town to do for this place? Because he has to improve it. Okay, now you see the heritage is very, very real. Yes. If you think back in the past, how we used to struggle, yeah. we're still in the struggle. Of course. But of course, we wanted to improve also. It did improve. Yes. So we need some more, some more upliftment for the area. Yeah. And if the mayor can step in and like improvise and just give us some light, something nice that already the tourists are coming they're quite impressed with it yeah. but we want to improve it more yes. you see that's what we would like okay may i'm challenging you mayor of city of cape town i want you to come and improve this place because this place it means a lot to people of cape town this represent our city of cape town people so mayor please come and improve this place thank you so much ma'am thank you okay thank You're you welcome. so much okay English Broken Businesses, we are here at City of Cape Town Flower Market in Trafalgar Place. We are challenging the mayor here. We want him to improve this place. Tell me, what do you want the mayor to do in this place? Because you've been selling here for quite a while. Since I was a baby in a banana box, I was selling flowers here. Yes. Nothing has been done. We want only the best to upgrade the market. More customers must come. Yes. And you see that lane there yeah. that they put on for bikes that only one bike is driving. Yes. That cause our customers when they stop like one of yours, yes. your wife that also dealing with me, gets a ticket of 1.5. Yes. Maybe for standing, for waiting for flowers. Yeah. We want him to give us a very good pavement for parking yeah. and upgrading for the flower market. Yes. And, and you know also what? to sponsor us with some flowers I, that yeah. I will also like. No, he's going to do it because we are challenging him now. This he challenge is for him. Most definitely because yes. why? You know what's with the COVID, eh? Hey? Yes. Everything didn't go down yes. as it lies. Yeah. So I've got children to feed. Yes. I've got, I'm a single mother. Yes. I've got a daughter that's becoming law. Yeah. You must also get this study by UWC. Yes. So survival is very, as hustle is real, my bookie. Yeah. So please. Mayor. Mayor. The youngest mayor. The youngest mayor. In Western in Cape. In the Western Cape. Yes. Assist us. Yes. I'm begging you. Yes. From the Falga Place Adley Street flower markets. Yes. And I thank you. Yes. Mayor. We're doing this for love because this place has been here for more than 130 years. And, and this place has been feeding generation to change. This is the Chet Cat generation. Oh, yeah, there you see that statue? Yes. This market is 180 years oh, 180 old. years. That mayor wasn't even born, born yet. yet. Yes. You see what I tried to tell you, mayor? Yes. So at the end of the day, mayor, all the best. I wish you all the best of have the wisdom of spreading the money around amongst us here. Look at our way. Yes. You see our way. Yes. I will much appreciate it. Thank you. Ma'am, I'm challenging you. This place has been here for more than 180. Nothing has been done. Even the democracy, promises. nothing promises. it has been promised to promises. promise. Please Empty make promises yes. and promises. Yes. And so and uh, your promises. Yes. And promises. Yes. So keep your promise, please. Yes. Please, Mayor, we voted for you with love, so do it. Thank you so much, English Broken Businesses. We are here to do changes, hustling all the time, because these women, they are hustling for their families. Hustle, hustle, yes. hustle. Yes. And they and are... Promise, promise, prom promise. And they are making love. Love, love, love. Because of the what? Flowers. Flowers. Yes. Peace. Peace. Thank you so much. <laughs> so we have one of the ladies who is selling, who's a seller, who's a vendor here in this place. So mama, can you please tell me how long you've been here? I've been here exactly over 25 years. Yes. But I'm born into the business. I yes. didn't go study. Born into it, my love. Yes. Tell me what kind of changes 
have you done to your family through this business and also to the community? I put them through school. Yes. I solved marriage problems. Yes. All yes. types of problems. <laughs> we have flowers. We flowers. flowers. Yes. We bring yes. love. We bring yes. happiness, smiles, everything. Yes. So now, Mayor, we want you to come here and bring love to the people of Western Cape. Mr. Mayor, bring us some love and assistance. We need you here on the market. We have a bicycle lane with one bicycle, maybe twice a month. Yeah. Driving in it, and then we need a roof, Mayor. We're leaking. It's loud shedding, Mayor. Look up there. There's no lights for us. Yeah. Please come and assist us. With love, Mayor. English with broken love, business. Mayor, I'll send you some love. Yes, yes, yes. That's it for us in English broken business, fixing the Western Cape. I lo we love, with love, English with love, broken business. With love, with love, yeah. with love. Come and improve this place. Thank you.